Okay, so for this next part, we've got to prove that half of cos 2x minus sine 2x is identical to cos squared x minus cos x sine x minus a half. So how do we do this one? Well, in the usual way, I'd put up proof and I would pick one of these two sides. Well, again, it's going to be the left-hand side because it's generally easier to bring down multiple angles like 2x down to smaller angles. So I'll copy out the left hand side again then we've got half of cos 2x minus sine 2x and then what's this going to be identical to? Well we'll keep the half there and we've got to clearly change the cos 2x and the sine 2x using double angle formally for these two. Well for the cos 2x we've got these three versions. Which one do we pick? Well I would be tempted to go with the 2 cos squared x minus 1 purely because I can see that we've got a cos squared x term there. So let's just go for that one. So I'll put a square bracket there and we'll put 2 cos squared x minus 1. Now we've got minus sine 2x and again you should know this identity for sine 2a which is often as it's quoted in books but we'll change it to sine 2x. It's identical to 2 sine x cos x and it's got an element of this particular term in it so things are looking quite good at the moment I would feel. So we've got minus then 2 sine x cos x and then we've got to just close that bracket off. So now I'd want to expand the bracket and if we do that half of 2 cos squared x is going to give me cos squared x so that's looking good we've got that first term and then we've got half times the minus 1 which is minus a half so that's looking good okay and then half times minus 2 sine x cos x well that's going to give me minus sine x cos x so you can see that I've got all the terms I've basically shown it but what I would always encourage you to do is always finish exactly the same as the thing you've got to prove so we'll rearrange that cos squared x turn those two terms or factors I should say in this term around and then you've got minus cos x sine x and then you've got simply the minus a half and there you go